fighters on the magazine, and we're down here in Liverpool, England, to see the man sitting next to me, Mr. Terry Atim, who's uh, just been at Everton's training ground this morning, meeting a couple of the players and uh, swapping some training tips and stuff. Big football fan? Yeah, massive, massive uh, Liverpool fan. But uh, obviously coming down here and meeting the players, players was good as well. I mean, the uh, Everton players were cool and they had a uh, very good knowledge of MMA as well. Yeah. They, they were surprisingly knowledgeable actually, they were like genuine UFC fans obviously. I was actually quite shocked, I got told that they were UFC fans but they actually knew the stuff and you know it was good to uh, have a chat with them and go through a bit of stuff with them. So you're not uh, obviously not too put off being behind enemy lines here at Everton? No, no, I mean you know I am a big Liverpool fan but you know as I say we had to come down here and meet the Everton players and you know they were cool. So um, <coughs> on the more relevant stuff, uh, February 16th, London, you're back in action after a long time away. Where have you been hiding? Where have I been hiding? Well, after, uh, obviously, Brazil. Uh, I, obviously, I'd take a bit of time off after that fight, and then I got back to training. I was supposed to fight Joe Larson, and actually snapped my shoulder, which was, you know, very bad injury, and obviously couldn't fight. I think it pissed me off even more, the fact it was the fight was going to be against Larson, because, obviously, he's someone who I've really wanted to fight for a long time, and... Still, if that fight ever come up, I'd you know, I'd jump at the fight to fight him. But obviously, with that type of injury, that fight couldn't take place. Mm. So, with that out the way, healed up, and now this way we're at now. We're at coming up to February 16th, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Good to be back. Good to be fit, and good to be fully healthy. So, when you say snap your shoulder, was it like a shoulder separation? I mean, snap my shoulder. Right. A AC, ACJ snapped. Completely. I was in the gym and I actually went for a flying armbar. As I've jumped up, I've missed a flying armbar and landed. And to be honest, the second that I've landed, I've known it was a bad injury. Obviously, I had to go to the Aussie, get an x ray, and they've said, You want to hope it's not your ACJ? And come back and said, You know, it's your ACJ. Well, obviously, now it's all healed up and I'm very good to go. In retrospect, now, which do you regret more, like the injury itself or looking the way you did when you missed the flying armbar? <laughs> Both. Mainly the uh, injury, you know, I think. I've having injuries and not being able to fight for so long, you know. Especially if it's something if that's the only thing you know to do is to fight and that's the only thing you want to do and then you're kept away from the gym because of the injury, you know, it just proper cracks you up. I'm watching everyone else fighting and everyone else getting on and other people training. Especially after the fight in January. The only thing you wanna do is get back and you wanna redeem yourself and you wanna get back to winning ways and you wanna put that fight behind you. Obviously I haven't been able to fight. So come February sixteenth, you know, I think I've got a lot of I've got a lot to prove and I've got a lot to prove to the fans, to myself, to everyone else and I know February 16th I'm going to get a million percent of getting back to winning ways and I'm going to come back and I'm going to show show uh, everyone what I'm about. Mm. Which is because you were um, you were riding a wave of hype almost like you had Joel, uh, Joel Rogan talking yeah. about all the, the, the lightweight Anderson Silver and stuff and then yeah. you know you've had some injury problems and um, not been as busy yeah. I guess. So do you feel like there's some potential that you have to live up to that you haven't yet. I mean, not even potential that I've got to live up to. I think that in my own head, that, you know, I fully believe in my own talent and my own potential and 100% confident that I can go very far in this sport and very far in this weight division. Yeah, I've had a few setbacks, but I think that's part of the sport and that's MMA. But that's behind me now and I've got to look to the future and that's what I'm planning on doing, you know, starting with February the 16th, get back to winning and then we just take it from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so last two questions. One is to February 16th. Yeah. Your opponent is a Brazilian. Rene Forte. Rene Forte, you know, uh, I don't know too much about him. I've seen a few of his fights, but I'm not really looking too much into his fight or looking too much about him, you know. I've been working hard on my own game and I'm ready for ready for anyone, whether it be Indy put in front of me or anyone else. I mean, you know, I think it's going to be a very, very bad night for him. And just to touch on Joel Lowes on again, yeah. because one of our uh, staff writers, Spoke to Joe in Boston, I think, in Boston, yeah. and uh, to the second time that you fight with him fell through, and he said, "Oh, I think Terry doesn't want to fight me." So can you just clear that up either way? I'd fight Joe Lowes on the drop of a hat. Let me tell you, if I get offered that fight, I'll fight him. Listen, I'll fight him any time, any place, anywhere. Do you know what I mean? Right. In fact, I'll fight him in his own back garden. So you know, let me know if Joe Silver puts that fight together, and Joe Lowes next after the fight, you know. Let's do it, it's on. And is this just because the fight's fallen through a couple of times? or Both reasons, because it's fell, fell through twice. Now obviously, 
the first injury, I broke my ribs in the second time, I've snapped my shoulder. You know, it's not like I've gone and, you know, with two very serious injuries and for someone to be saying that I don't want to fight him, you know, why? Who does he think he is, you know? So, you know, if everybody wants to fight, please put it together and we'll get it on.